Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2011 Ram 1500 Sport. Now the most notable features on the Sport is its power moonroof, its navigation system, as well as its running boards. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2011 Ram 1500 Sport. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the 1500 Sport is its daytime running lights as well as its fog lamps and if you just take a look on your corner there you're going to see your block heater. Over on the side you have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your running boards and then taking a look at the very top here, well I should say on the mirrors you have your integrated signal lamps. Nice thing is these are heated mirrors as well. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is red. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather and cloth interior combination seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look over on your left hand side you're going to see light controls. On the inside of your driver's side door, you're going to see your mirror controls as well as your window controls for your front and rear windows, window locks, and power locks. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here is your scroll function as well as your select and back, and then you also have your cruise control. Now, I'm just going to close in on the exact kilometers on the vehicle just so you have a much better idea of what it's currently sitting at. Now, the other nice thing is you have your digital compass in your top uh, left-hand corner and then you also have your uh, exterior temperature gauge in your top right hand corner as well. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. If you take a look down below you're going to see your 4x4 selector and then taking a look at some of the controls you'll see here you have your voice, uh, voice recognition, your uh, phone setup, radio, media, volume control, then you also have your menu, audio, files, and then you have your USB and your auxiliary. Down below you'll see your tow haul as well as your traction control on and off hazard lights, your power outlet on and off, and then your parking sensors on and off. Now if you actually go into your menu here, you're going to see your system setup as well as your nav, and then if you want to actually access your navigation system in that, all you need to do is go into navigation just in the top right hand corner, and then if you view map, you can actually see what your navigation system looks like. Now it's matted to an automatic transmission, you also have a power outlet just located down below. Your auto dimming rear view mirror, and at the very top you're going to see your integrated garage door opener just located up here. And then you have your open and close for your power moonroof. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across it. Taking a look in the center here you're going to see your uh, 4 and 7 pin for your towing. Located underneath you'll find your spare tire. And then on the back of the tailgate you're going to find your backup camera as well as the lock for your tailgate. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo uh, bed here just so you have a much better idea of what uh, space it's going to have. Now one of the nice things with this is it has the bed rail liner already installed in it so you don't have to worry about scratches on the, the steel or on the paint itself. Now taking a look just over on your left, right, back and front side, you're going to see a couple of areas where you can actually tie down any loose cargo. So in the event that you're going down the highway and you want to make sure your cargo is secured just while you're driving, you don't have to worry about it damaging the bed itself. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2011 Ram 1500 Sport, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.